What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and welcome to today's Clash of Clans video. We are showing you my top 3 favourite Town Hall 10 attack strategies. I think these are the best strategies for you to use right now at Town Hall 10. There are a lot of other strategies, for example the Bow Witch, the Frozen Witch, the Baby Dragons. Let me know your favourite in the comments but starting out here at number 3 we have the Miners. Now, now again, there's a lot of different ways of using the miners. Probably the most simplistic is using your king on one side of the base and the queen on the other in order to make that funnel. But ultimately, you need to make sure that the CC troops do not lock onto the miner unless it is a lava hound. You can let the lava hound go across the miners. It's not really going to do anything. But in this case, a queen charge is not only going to take out the CC troops, but also take the western part of the base. Then we can use the king and just a couple of wizards on the outside for the trash buildings and you can see how the miners can then concentrate onto the defenses themselves. With miners that is exactly what you need. You cannot have them going around the outside of the base with all of the trash. It just does not work. You need the miners concentrated on the defenses themselves. Now in this case we have managed to use the queen charge on that left hand side so the miners are actually quite close clumped together. That can be a good thing in terms of using the heal spells on top of the miners, but it can also be a little bit of a bad thing in terms of time. So if you're not stripping apart the base how we did in this one, you would have to think that your miners are going to struggle getting around the base if they're all clumped together. If you are using just the king on one side and the queen on the other, you might want to look at more of a sweeping motion of the miners. Make sure you have them somewhat split apart so that they can sweep through the base like that. However, you can get a lot of other strategies and techniques implemented in with the miners. If you're going up to, let's say, Town Hall 11, you're going to have to concentrate on that Eagle Artillery with the miners themselves. But there you are. That is my third favorite at Town Hall 10. Often, I will also use the Battle Blimp to come in, clone the balloons inside it, and therefore take out a section of the base then you can just use suicide heroes to strip apart more of the base and send them miners down the middle works very well guys but getting into my second favorite town hall 10 attack strategy i think this is arguably the best and it's it's difficult to say it's a lot higher of a skill cap in order to work but it is the lava loon attack strategy again we're going to show you many tips and tricks with it with these top two we're actually going to show you two attack strategies of each two three star attacks of the lava loon now i haven't mentioned already guys all of these attacks are by white temple in their cwl match against syria paradise unfortunately Unfortunately, they didn't quite get the victory on this one, but if you are interested in joining White Temple, be sure to check out in the description of this video their Discord link. You can get into the Discord, recruitment will take it from there, and you might be battling alongside us. But on this Lava Loon, you can see how we've broken in with the Wall Wrecker and a Kill Squad, taken out the Enemy Queen and CC up in the north. Doesn't necessarily matter about air defense, you can take them out, but even if not, you can use them to pin your Lava Hounds. You can see the Air Sweepers though, they are clearly pointed in the other direction, so it's quite easy to come in behind with the Lava Hounds and the Balloons. Notice how we just wait until that first section is down before we then reinforce from the southern area. There would be no point bringing that lava hound across if we didn't have the balloons there to reinforce. So timing is very, very key with the lava loon and it is difficult to get the hang of. But you can see on this one, Rohan absolutely smashes this base. Obviously, a lot of the spells used with the lava loon, you'll see it again, like I said, two attack strategies with the lava loon, two three star attacks, should we say, before we move on to the number one and again be sure to let me know your top three down in the comments section and obviously leave a like if you do enjoy this video let's get into the second lava loon strategy
strategy. Again, you can use the Battle Blimp. You can use Sui Heroes. We're sticking with the Kill Squad for this one because I feel if you want to learn these strategies, if you learn how to do an effective Kill Squad, you can then adapt to the base, whether it is going to be the Lava Loon, the Miners on the back end, maybe even some other tr type of troop. You get the idea. A Kill Squad is important. Freak of War on this one is going to take apart this base very nicely. Firstly, just taking out some of the trash buildings. Remember, if you put that golem straight in, it might take a few shots when it's unnecessary. So actually, he takes out some of them buildings in order to help with the funnel so that he can reinforce that golem as quickly as possible. Obviously, gets the most value out of it. You can now see that once the wall wrecker opens up that compartment, the king and bowlers are are going to hopefully go in behind it. That's ex obviously exactly what you want. The wall wrecker itself doesn't need a funnel, but the troops behind it most certainly do. Getting pretty much everything that he would want from this, like we said again, the CC is down, the Queen is down, that multi inferno on the back end is definitely a big one in terms of Lava Loon. A multi is hard to get to because the single, yes, it's more troublesome for the Lava Hound, but the balloons struggle a lot more wizard towers though are pretty hard on the balloon so you can see we're coming in quite heavy here onto that area again lots of spells you can use a rage spell as the balloons clump together over an area of key defenses but really the haste are going to be your best friend if you do have a wizard tower though that you're coming onto at the end you are going to have to be careful you can see that a couple of red bombs almost finished off the pack of balloons on this one managed to get away with it managed to help in terms of cleaning up as well but certainly there were a lot of other troops helping with that cleanup phase Moving on to attack strategy number one at Town Hall 10 then, I'm still sticking with the Hog Riders. I think that in terms of Lava Luna Hog Riders, the Hogs are a lot more user friendly. So I do appreciate the Lava Loon might be the better strategy in many cases, but it's definitely harder to pull off. So for the masses, for all of you people out there, I think again, learn that kill squad and start using the Hogs on the back end to start with. These are stepping stones. Remember, guys, that it is base dependent. You can't just use one strategy. Your base will be trying to defend against a set strategy. You can't defend everything. I do like how deep of a kill squad is taken on this one though it does prove that you can you know just take that smaller kill squad you can take a deeper kill squad ultimately the amount of troops you are committing into the kill squad determines the amount of value you're trying to get out so on this one we take apart the entire southern area of the base get ourselves up even if we hadn't have got the multi inferno on the end here we would have still been able to do it with the hogs but just look at the amount of defenses that are already gone and we have three heal spells for all of these hog riders obviously we can bring them in a little bit more surgical because basically the defenses are all over the place but once you've stripped the base apart like this you could bring them in with just a mass deployment it's not like the, the hog riders are going all over you can control where they go you'd still be moving them around in this sea shape around the base so actually you could bring them in in a mass deployment if you wanted to and clearly you're going to be healing where necessary over areas of thick defenses maybe the splash damage giant bombs the multi obviously you're going to want to heal in them areas but you can see just how much of a kill squad you can take in order to help take down the base let's show you one more hog attack clarity again smashing it in this war what an absolute beast this will wrap up the video with this one and i hope it has helped you out again lots of town hall 10 strategies out there and i for one actually love the variety in the game right now it's not like one strategy is just overpowering everything there's actually good variety there which is what i enjoy the most about the game.
So coming down into this base as well, you can see how the multi-infernos do kind of cover them side angles. That's where you might look at this and think, actually, the Frozen Witch is quite good with the air defense being packed in, but the multis would shred the things on the side. So actually, if we can bring a kill squad in, push right the way into the center, try and get into that area, we can then use Hog Riders on the back end. Notice how there's no splash damage up there. It's quite easy to loop the hog riders around so again all of the troops come through nice bounces from the bowlers onto the expo is unfortunate not to be able to take it down and the queen is going to step up take down one of them multi infernos again you can see we already have the queen over to this area we have the golem which is going to start tanking the expos as well so we bring the hog riders into that area of the base try and protect the queen if you can any of your kill squad that you can protect that's going to be beneficial it's going to help you with time it's going to help you ultimately take down the defenses as you can see here as well and you want to be trying to get into the habit of that learn when you've got enough and when you can bring in the main portion of your attack and try and overlap the two in order to get the best efficiency so that is going to wrap it up for this one gg to everyone in white temple for this war they really put up a good fight gg to syria paradise as well but that wraps it up for this one until next time Peace out.